Hey guys, it's Monica. I'm actually coming to you from my inside my hotel room in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm away on a convention and it's pouring rain. It's lousy out. And last night we were up a little bit too late, so I look like a total wreck. But I promised you guys that I would do an update on Sheila and yesterday was her surgery. Many of you probably already know if you watch Jerry's video that she came through the surgery fine or if you watched my Instagram live yesterday, not live, but my Instagram yesterday. Um, her husband David did text me during the surgery, said everything was going well and then after the surgery to let me know that all was fine. And then last night we had gone out, a group of us here had gone out to a beautiful restaurant and had a wonderful dinner and then we came back, I got a text message from Sheila and we were texting back and forth and uh, she was still in a brain fog, she said, but she wanted me to know that everything did indeed go fine and this time she had no issues with the anesthesia. Did I say that right? Anesthesia? Well, close enough. Um, she had no issues with that and you know her pain level was a little higher than she anticipated but it was being managed and she was you know she was doing good when she was texting back and forth in fact she was doing so good she even did a couple of selfie pictures but they're not for public consumption so I'm not going to be sharing them with you at all but she wanted me to let you all know that she's doing fine she's probably going to go home today around noontime she thought She's going home in a binder, of course she's not looking forward to that. You can all remember last time how much she hated those darn binders. But she's going home and she's really happy about that and very, very positive and upbeat even though she was full of drugs when she sent the text messages. So continue your prayers, continue all your, your well wishes and holding Sheila tight in your heart because she's still gonna need all your prayers and all your support. She will be back on YouTube before you guys know it. She's um, She'll update you as soon as she can, but for right now, she wanted me to assure you all that everything is indeed fine. She should be home later today, and before you know it, she'll be back and being our perky Sheila as we all know her and love her. But before I close out on the video, I just wanted to share one thing with you. When I first met Sheila, I don't know, maybe it was years ago when I first met Sheila, and she, I met her online, obviously we've never met in person yet, but I met her online. She was one of my subscribers, like many of you watching this video today are. And she was one of the subscribers, and I'm blessed because I have so many of you that do engage and that do are so supportive. Well, she, she was, so supportive and so and she always left comments and we engaged back and forth and we really got to know each other well and at one point she decided she was going to do her own YouTube channel and she she named her channel life with Lily and Lily is named you know after her dog so she started her channel and you know obviously I subscribed and and go back and forth and we did a collab I think I'm not positive but I think it might have been Sheila's first collab it was one of my I hadn't done very many before that so you know the collab was was her first I believe and one of um, my early collabs and um, we didn't know what to do so we came up with this topic and it was down and dirty with Monica and down and dirty with Sheila where we asked I guess each other's questions so I'm gonna link her video because I really thought it was cute and I also thought while she's laid up and and um, you know in the hospital and coming home today and all that it might be nice for some of you to maybe see an older video that's kind of funny and get to get some more information about down and dirty with Sheila so thanks so much for watching guys I truly truly appreciate every single one of you and please please continue to support and pray for Sheila and just keep up keep her in your heart keep sending those well wishes I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.